well, would you like to hear my big news? <laughs> so something that actually brings me so much enthusiasm and it just infuses light in my life is a body of work called the X-Men. And I loved it so much that I chose to become an X-Men facilitator. So here I am, X-Men facilitator, Rachel O'Brien. When I was seven years old, I went in, I was, I grew up Catholic and I went into the church and I prayed like this. And I used to rock when I pray. And I said, Jesus, can you please help me? And I looked at the statue of Jesus and I said, can you make me different? I don't get this world. I don't understand people. I don't understand any of this. It's so confusing to me. I don't understand my family. Do I belong to this family? And then I don't understand my mom. And I knew I wasn't adopted because my mother was a single parent in Ireland in the 70s. Uh, so I knew um, that she chose to have me. So this was something that I struggled with for a long, long time. Now, fast forward 41 years later, I'm now 48 years of age. And I begin to recognize that everything that was going on around me was all energy and the energy of drama, our upset, our problems, our trauma made no sense to this little blue-eyed beauty uh, whatsoever. And I, I couldn't, I was so disconnected um, from my family. And now I recognize that I was massively sensitive. You know, if ever you've been told you're too sensitive, you're too fast, uh, you're too sensitive, Actually, I was massively aware and I saw things that people didn't know that didn't see. And now I recognize that my sensitivity, you're too sensitive, was actually um, a superhero potency and power misunderstood. So if you tend to be misunderstood, please check out Access X-Men. I would like to invite you to the body of work. There are facilitators all over the world. And for me, the greatest gift is every single disability is ability and ADD, ADHD, autism, OCD. All of these are diagnosed as disabilities because people don't know what to do with what doesn't fit into normal. So then they have to define it. So what if you are beyond definition and what if there's a communion that you be with the molecules of the joy of space, the joy of being, the joy of choice, and the joy of possibility. And I truly wish that my story about the little seven-year-old praying to Jesus to be different uh, contributes to you because we're not wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. There's never anything being wrong with you. And what if your sensitivity is a superpower to create the change that this planet is looking for? what is and what will be on this planet is as a result of our choices are you willing to choose to be the gift that you truly be Mwah. thank you so much for everyone who supported me called me thank you and let's change our world